doesn't really matter anyway. You can't really see me, which is probably a good thing for you. Um. Yeah, oh, fuck Activision, bunch of evil fucks. Come on, enter. Thanks. Go to Twitch. Just to see if my camera's working. The green light's on. Let's see. Press that so we get going. Continue. Come on, just show up so I can see. Alright, it's working. Wonderful. Now I'll log out so I'll get an actual count of the views I do not get. Uh, at least everything's working. Oh, I won't know if someone chats. Oh, fuck. Alright. <laughs> I'll bring it back up so that the one person watching will be me. So. Not in the best of moods. So. I'm probably not going to talk too much unless someone interact with me. How the fuck do you have 15,000 people watching your dumbass playing fuck? chess. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm, frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Alright, there's the one viewer's me. Press start to begin. Should be wearing a Spider-Man <coughs> shirt today, but I'll wear a Green Lantern shirt today. Because Jeff Johns is back at DC, and they're, they're finally going to put out something fucking good. Hot diggity damn. I should have made a YouTube video about Get that. Get back to the action. Oh, I fell in water. Jesus Christ. Can't swing across fucking water. <laughs> Christ, no wonder your Gwen Stacy died. Not sure what I was aiming at there. Shut up. So that's exciting. It sucks. It's just like a standalone. It's it's like more Flashpoint goodness, which is fine. Maybe he's gonna try to fix some of the dumb shit they've done. Hopefully, um, I'm excited for that. I don't know if find another way. Anything, but if Jeff Johns is writing it, I'll buy it, and I'll probably buy multiple copies because it'll piss people off. And hopefully, one day I'll get to meet him at a convention. And he'll just probably spend an hour signing all the shit I have for him. Hardbacks, multiple issues, some absolutes. Yeah, big Johns fan. Okay. Copies of Geiger. Be nervous. You need information on Craven. Would and like to meet Gary Frank to get it with. <laughs> Easy peasy. Never mind that if he finds out you're a photographer and not a reporter, with him and he'll have you stuffed and mounted. That was so good. <laughs> See, oh, no one's talking to me. Oh, no shit. Yes, I want to enter Craven's Loft. That's why I pressed the fucking button. Yeah, I can't seem to get anything to work, which is just not amazing. Filmed a video about my Kickstarter stuff I got off Witchblade, and it looks like a goddamn dubbed Godzilla movie. But I didn't refilm it, because I'm just fed the fuck up, and I'll probably only get four views anyway, uh, so it doesn't fucking Mr. matter. Mr. Cravenoff? It's me, Peter Parker, from the Daily Bugle. Fuck all. We spoke on the phone. The, the door was open. Why do I need to run? Uh, Mr. Kravenoff? Just like Vince McMahon, a dinosaur skull. Vince McMahon's the shit. It's just too bad he's running WWE into the ground. Good evening! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. 
The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But I grew fond of your city. And your city grew fond of me. <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No! Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. Well. This new task force is sending a pretty strong Peter message. Peter Parker literally no looks vigilantes. like Frank West as uh, a teenager I do not in trust the Dead them. Rising series. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. The rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. To get results. Based on my experience, uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh, don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but to refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And... What are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors. Many travel in packs, but there are differences. Such as? Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it is to be unworthy of it. Uh, well, thanks. I, I think our readers will find this very interesting. Good, good. I must take this call. But please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes. No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! Just like Frank West, I have to snap three pictures of interesting objects. Still just myself watching. Just letting everyone know. Fuck everything. And how do I bring the how do I bring the camera up? That looks interesting. I made a picture like that above my fireplace. Didn't get a clear shot. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, moving on. Oh my god. Cool. I can't go 
farther back. Why does the zero out of three look like an arc reactor? I should get a better angle. Oh, fuck me. That's why I never fin finished fucking Tony Hawk Project 8. Perfection. You had to take fucking photos in midair and fucking do dumb shit like that. Um, I'm here to fucking skateboard, just like here. I'm here to fucking swing around the city and beat the fuck out of degenerates who are robbing people. Okay, cool. I get it. I can read five words in under fucking five minutes. Okay, it greened for a second. We put some nickel back on or something, Craven. How about this? Okay, oh, fireplace. Or the actual fire. No, okay, I gotta go back. Do I have to light myself on fire to get the motherfucking picture? God. That one's no good. Looks fucking fine to me. Yuck! Gotta frame the subject better. That's what I'm talking about! There we go. Fuck, yes, I can read five words. You don't have to hold it up there. I'm not some fucking dumbass inbred motherfucker who doesn't know how to read. Just what I needed. Okay. Can we Pardon the interruption. Would you care to see my latest trophies? One's watching anyway, so I can fucking chat along all I want. Gotta be some, like, fucking freak show who has fucking mental illness to get anybody to watch. Species. <laughs> Beautiful. Are they not? I thought Spider-Man captured them. An inadequate solution. They escaped. So you oh, killed scorpion? them? Scorpion? To save the lives of their victims, yes. But also in self-defense. They were deadly opponents. I know. I mean, I can imagine.
When do you consider it okay to kill when there is no other choice? I do not take life lightly. But when it is necessary, I do not hesitate. If my failure to act cost the life of an innocent person, I could not live with myself. I know what you mean. They all had superhuman powers. How'd you beat them? I have trained myself to the peak of human ability, and learned many natural means of enhancement. Not drugs, like the scum who pollute the streets, but the secrets of native cultures. Herbs, potions, mysteries forgotten by so-called civilized man. Hunting criminals? Some people might wonder if you're the Carnage Killer. Uh, he is no hunter, but a brute, a savage. His very existence is offensive to men like myself. So even though he's hunting criminals, you'd like to take him down? Of course. He dishonors what I do. Without honor, Peter, the hunt means nothing. Last question. Is there anything you haven't accomplished yet? Ah, uh, yes. I would like to leave a legacy when I am gone. Pass my training to a protege. My only family is a brother who... Well, he chose a different path. I never had a son, but... Perhaps... Uh, forgive me. I am becoming melancholy as I get older. So, do you have what you need, Mr. Parker? Yeah, I think I do. No. I'm gonna go through that door. This is a fucking door. Oh, it's not even a door. What is this? Fucking random, you put a nice big old refrigerator in there. For all the food you can't afford to buy right now. The fuck do I get downstairs? Which reminds me of Ace Ventura when nature calls. This is a lovely room of death. Yeah, nothing else to do. Already talked to the weird dude. Well, that was an easy level. Whitney! Whitney? Should I be jealous? Who is this? That's no way to talk to a lady. Or even me. <sighs> Felicia, this is the number I gave Whitney Chang. How'd you get it? The name's Black Cat, as in Cat Burglar. As in I get my hands on things I'm not supposed to. How about you, Spider? Do you ever get your hands on things you're not supposed to? I heard you were back in jail. Listen, if you're calling to tease me about breaking out... I'm insulted. I can think of a lot more fun things to tease you about. If you're smart, you'll get out of town before I find the time to chase you. Funny. That's what I was going to say to you. Things are getting dangerous around here, Spider. Why don't we chase each other out of town? I'm too busy to fool around with you. I, I mean, play games with you. Bye, Felicia. at the house to the window. I'll do that.
Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta go back to Craven. Time to find out if Craven can really teach me how to track these punks. I'm sorry, fucking Craven lives in Harlem. Oh, and then all of a sudden it's Upper East Side. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas about me being your sidekick. But I'm on the trail of the killer, and tracking's a little out of my wheelhouse. Ah, yes, the killer. I thought he might be you. But I have watched you, and I see that you are no madman. You spy Only briefly. There is much a hunter can learn from observation. I see. <sighs> the way you carry yourself like a lost child. You lack someone to guide you, to help you become a man. I have no son of my own. I do not want my legacy to die with me. I can make you the ultimate hunter. Let us work together to... to find this carnage killer and suppress the crime wave. Let us do together what we could not do alone. I'm still gonna operate on my own. Of course. As will I. But we will be there for each other when it is needed. Oh, that's sweet. I sent you an address. There is a back alley from which the Russians move stolen Oscorp equipment to a safe house. Use the little fish to catch the big ones. Yeah, I've heard that before. I get that, but I'm not gonna let anyone get hurt. If I see these guys threatening someone's life, they're going down. Illegal money is usually paid in cash. If you follow low-level criminals as they drop off their earnings, they will lead you to the next run of the ladder. You are doing well. Now listen. Higher-level criminals prefer to keep a low profile. But just as animals must visit a watering hole, they must collect their money and pay those above them. I'll give them this. The way these guys hustle all over the city, they're getting one heck of a cardio workout. Often the higher level criminals will lead you to legitimate business. Then serve as a front to launder the illegal income. It is here you will find their bosses. I have to admit, Craven, all this is leading me to...